the ash, the hoe we tapping and pass it like magic. No, we not asking, we see it, we grabbing. Diamonds they flashing, go blind when I'm passing. Mask on, I'm clapping, no mask on assassin. Jugging, we snatching, all black is the fashion. We not the same, bro, just look at the fabric. It was good, everybody. It's your boy Kama. We back with another video, man. Hey, man. Real quick, something I want to get into real quick. Um, about as the Cowboys fan. The, the scariest thing about this season for me is not, not the back-to-back -back champion, back-to-back -back NFC champion. It's not the back-to-back, -back, um, can we get over the hump and things of that nature. For me, it's always been, um, can we put together back-to-back -back playoff seasons? Uh, we haven't put together a back-to-back -back playoff season since I believe it's 05, 06, or 06, 07. It was one of those, those two years. It's the last time we made the playoffs back to back. And I've been saying this for a while because it's like, I feel like the first step to being a contender or being a serious contender to win it all is being in the conversation every year. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you can look at the Rams, right? Like, the Rams is like, they just won it all. They've been perennial playoff team for the past few years. You know what I'm saying? You can look at any team that won it all. Seattle, when they was in their heyday, it was in the playoffs every year. And Buffalo has been in the playoffs for the last few years. And the Chiefs, and the list goes on and on. Like, the Steelers. Most of them teams got rings, but even somebody like the Saints. But it's like, you have to be in it to win it, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now, I feel like if we could put together a back-to-back -back good season, for one, it bodes, for, for one, it bodes well, because now is, so now is, we are already, if we make the playoffs this year, we have already broken the spell of something that we haven't done in almost 15 years. You know what I'm saying? We already broke that spell, so that would be the first step of getting over that hump to me. Like, I feel like if we can get over that hump, that will bode well, because it's like, you have to take steps, right? You can't be the number one seed. It wouldn't be the number one seed, or you finally won the playoff game, you go to the second division round, then you're knocked out the next year. Six and ten. You know what I'm saying? That's been our MO. Uh, um, MO. So, uh, MO. Uh, uh, excuse me. For the past few years, I mean, yes, injury has a lot to do with that, but we have to. I feel like as a team, we have to find a way to get over that hump. You know what I'm saying? It's like with losing Coop in the off season, things like that. It's hard. It's hard. I know it's hard for some. Cowboy fans, they be like, uh-oh, here we go again. We won 12 games last year. Now we're making these changes, what we're going to do. But at some point, I trust the quarterback. I trust Dak. I believe Dak is, can play at a MVP level. Um, I trust well how we built this defense. I, tr I trust how we build an offense. I trust that Tyler Smith could be a good player. I trust... I trust what's going on. I just trust Jalen Tolbert and Simi Fahoku and James Watson, all like Dalton Schultz, Dak Prescott, City Land. When Michael got, we get Michael Gallup back eventually. Whenever that happens, like I trust that we are good enough to get there. Barring any, like we won 12 games last year and half our defensive line missed seven games or better. You know what I'm saying? So it's not impossible. But for us to make, take that next step, the consistency has to start this year. Like, I, I don't want to have another, oh, 12 wins, then this year, seven wins, or oh, for any reason. I mean, the year before, I mean, it just it's just been that way for us. And it's, um, it's not explainable. It's like, it's kind of unexplainable. It's like, we'll win the playoff. We'll win, we go 12 and four one year. We go 12 and 4 one year, then 
Tony Romo, Tony Romo um, breaks his collarbone, then we form 12. Now, now we get the Dax, the Zeeks, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's been our ammo. That's how we've been able to get these good draft picks because of the unfortunate nature of the injury bug. The injury bug, I think we have a good season. The injury bug always seems to kill us the next year. If we can, if we can survive the injury bug, the sky's the limit, man. But that was just something on my mind. That was my quick thought. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Always remember, like, and subscribe. It's your boy, Kama. Salute. We out of here.